That's how we opened a portal to the netherworld and summoned the Undertaker to the Earth Realm so I could defeat him and cement my Hall of Fame legacy. Uh, we're fine, thanks. I told you they wouldn't believe it. You know what? I, none of that crazy stuff ever happened. I, I mean, sure, I, I beat the Undertaker, you all witnessed that, but, but could you imagine all that other wacky stuff? <laughs> Portals and Marsh Ladies and Papa Shango? <laughs> yeah, gotcha, joke's on you. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to things that actually happened. Like when I was the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era, holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship for over two and a half years. Our record-breaking SmackDown Live Women's Champion is ready to address the WWE Universe. Since I defeated Mickie James over two and a half years ago, I've had the privilege of defending this championship against the very best female competitors in WWE. But when you're the longest reigning women's champion in the modern era, it's only natural you start to look for new ways to challenge yourself. And considering it's a little wild west around here right now with no GM, I figured this was my chance to do that. So I thought about doing an open challenge, but that's a little played out. I could force myself to win with the four or five count, maybe, or I could do something really unprecedented and defend my title against male superstars. So what do you think? It's Becky Lynch in her savages. Uh, nothing good ever happens when they come around. That's your opinion, Saxon. Personally, I think they're one of the best things going today on SmackDown Live. Well, whether you like them or not, you can't deny the influence they have over WWE. I'm not arguing with that. Ever since Becky Lynch took control of this faction, she's pretty much been able to do whatever she wants, except for taking that SmackDown Live Women's Championship away from Liv. I have a feeling that could change real soon. So you want to give yourself new challenges like five counts or facing men? Well, I have a better idea. How about you forget all that? and face the man. <laughs> it's funny you still throw around that title after all these years. I mean, I'm the one who's held an actual title longer than anyone since the 1970s. So, I'm pretty sure that makes me the man. <clears throat> I am the man because I'm the leader of the most powerful force this sport has ever seen. And that's when there's someone in charge. So just think of what we're capable of when no one's steering the ship. So unless you want to find out what happens when we have free reign, I suggest you give me my title match tonight. If you didn't hear me the first time, I'm looking for new challenges, not rematches against played out losers I've already beat. And you and your crew trying to intimidate me isn't going to change that. Besides, Everyone knows you're just all bitch and no bite. Oh, well, if you're not gonna give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. Boys, little help. I'm gonna show Red here my bite. Red is severely outnumbered here. So far, Red's holding her own. Not anymore. Becky Lynch is showing Red that she's not just all talk. Here comes Trey to help his best friend. I admire his courage, but Trey has no chance against these guys. It's, it's four on one. I told you, Becky and her savages are one of the best parts of SmackDown Live. It's clear that unless she can somehow even up the sides, Red faces an uphill battle to hold on to her SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think you're looking at the man who's going to end Red's record-breaking title reign. We got to get even with Becky and her savages. How are we going to do that? We're at a five-on-two disadvantage.
We saw what happened out there, and we want to help. Great. Where were you 15 minutes ago? We all had severe simultaneous leg cramp syndrome, or SSLCS. It's a real proven medical condition that can occur when superstars team as long as we have and their body's ailments become synchronized. Uh, I don't think they're buying it. Look, the truth is that we didn't want to get involved in your business. And we know sometimes certain people can be a bit stubborn about wanting to do things on their own. He's talking about you. Nah, it could be anyone. It's fine. I know I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. I can recognize when we need help, so... We'll take it. Thank you. So do we do like a secret New Day handshake now or something? How about you two rest up and next week we'll see what we can do about Becky and her crew. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg cramp acting up again. Uh, you guys feeling it too? You can stop that now. Not long after my issues with Becky Lynch heated up, SmackDown Live filled its open GM position. We were excited to see who it was. Well, until we saw who it was. Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM of SmackDown Live. Apparently she's traded MMA and Hollywood for WWE. This is crazy. This isn't crazy, it's genius. Thank you. I'm so excited to be the new general manager of SmackTown Live! Did you just come out here, interrupt us, and say SmackTown Live? She definitely said that, and I have 2020 hearing. Uh, you're off to a good start as GM. Please, continue. Knowing that I was up for this gig, I watched the show last week for the first time, and I have to say, I didn't like what I saw from you, Red. Instead of accepting Becky Lynch's challenge, you resorted to cheap insults, which led to Becky having no choice but to defend herself. So, Red, you said last week you wanted new challenges? Well, I have one for you. You're going to defend your women's championship in the first ever best out of five team match. It will be a one night series of singles matches between Red, Trey, and your buddies The New Day, taking on Becky Lynch and her savages. If Red's team wins the series, she retains her title. If Becky's team wins, she is the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. She just said it again. The name of your show is SmackDown Live. Say it with me SmackDown. Town makes more sense, but whatever. Guys, guys, we're losing track of the fact she just put us in a best out of five series for Red's title, which seems super unfair. I mean, who would do such a thing? Who? 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 Hey, I know we formed an alliance, but that's kind of our thing, okay? With all due respect, you're really stacking the deck against Red, so I have an idea that would help even things up a bit. You give our team home field advantage. That's right. If Red's putting her title on the line under these circumstances, then the series should take place on our turf. What kind of turf are we talking? Synthetic or natural? Because I prefer a natural tall fescue. I meant more of a New Day home arena vibe, but we could look into the fescue. I like what you're thinking, except Becky's team should have an equal opportunity to secure home field advantage. So later tonight, it will be Red and a team member of her choosing versus Becky and a partner of her choice. The winner of that match will earn home field advantage for their team in the best out of five series. Who's it gonna be, Red? Yeah. yeah. Who? 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 That was a test and you passed. Good job. There's really not a bad choice, unlike the choice of Brooklyn as GM. Ooh, she just laid the smack town on her. <laughs> so I'm going to team with... Great decision. Ooh, I can smell the sweet aroma of tall fescue headed our way. Home it's field advantage is on the line yes, later is. tonight on SmackDown Live.
Jo Leute, hallo, herzlich willkommen. Ihr seht mich nicht, wundert euch nicht. Es funktioniert einfach nicht. Dieses Spiel ist komplett kaputt. Ich musste, ich habe vor, vor der Aufnahme auch meine Charaktere noch mal ein bisschen verändert, wie man vielleicht gesehen hat in der Zwischensequenz. Nach dieser Zwischensequenz ist das Spiel wieder hängen geblieben und es ging halt einfach nicht mehr weiter. Ich musste die Charaktere jetzt wieder so weit zurücksetzen, wie sie davor waren, habe aber nur die Farbe geändert. Also sie haben wieder alles gleich, außer ich glaube bei Trey. Der hat eine, einen anderen Bart und so. Kleinigkeiten eigentlich, die jetzt hoffentlich nicht ausschlaggebend sein sollten. Und ich kann meine, ich kann nicht mehr aus dem Spiel raus. Ich muss hier, ich kann nicht mehr in OBS rein, ich kann nur noch über meinen Hotkey ähm, irgendwelche Tasten belegen. Also von daher, egal. So. Jetzt hole ich den Finisher raus, dann kann ich Finn Bella noch wegboxen. Dann sollte es das gewesen sein. Oder wir gehen direkt in den Pin über. Wir müssen nämlich gewinnen, um den Heimvorteil zu bekommen. So. Zwei und... Was war das denn? Finn Bella, du Wichser. Der kriegt jetzt auf die Fresse, der blöde Penner. Verpiss dich. So, jetzt nochmal. Komm jetzt. Vielleicht reicht's ja. Vielleicht habe ich Glück. Nein, natürlich nicht mehr. So, jetzt aber. Komm schon, Bene, den Bums hier. Ich will den einfach teilen. Dankeschön. Easy. Jetzt bin ich wirklich mal gespannt, ob es gleich wieder irgendwann hängen bleibt. Wenn das Video jetzt gleich zu Ende ist, wisst ihr auf jeden Fall, es ist wieder hängen geblieben. Weil dann habe ich keinen Bock mehr aufzunehmen, ey, weil das ist einfach nur lächerlich. Ich musste da irgendwie den Internetzugang vom Spiel in mein Internet unterbrechen. Ich musste, ich darf keine Schriftzüge verwenden, gar nichts darf man da irgendwie gefühlt, weil es immer hängen bleibt in dem Ladebildschirm, in genau diesem Bildschirm hier. Also keine Ahnung, ob es jetzt gleich wieder passiert. Nee, jetzt lädt's mal. Wow. Welcome to a very special New Day themed event where Red's SmackDown Live Women's Championship is on the line in a best of five series. This looks like an arena that was designed by a four-year-old who's been eating too much paste. Stay classy, New Day. It's different, but I kind of like it. <laughs> no doubt that you do. Welcome everyone to the best of five series for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Where our team, as you might have noticed, has home field advantage. Do you like what we've done with the place? Ooh, look at the tall fescue ramp. It's amazing. This is the best looking setup for a show since they used to bring Mr. McMahon's home to the In Your House events. Wait, what did you just say? Yeah, yeah, you know how they used Mr. McMahon's home as the old In Your House entrance? My uncle knew a security guard who knew a janitor who knew a concession stand worker who worked at one of the arenas and he told him that it was Vince's actual house. We need to have a talk later. Guys, guys, we could continue to dilly-dally or we could get things started with the first match. I'm normally a strong proponent of dillying and dallying, but I think we should get to some action. In that case, let's kick things off with our first contest of the evening. You're up, Kofi. It's a new day, yes it is. We're going to get the best of five series started with Kofi Kingston taking on the bruiser weight, Pete Dunne. I doubt Pete Dunne or any of Becky Lynch's savages have ever competed in an arena like this before. Yeah, only in their worst nightmares. This place looks like New Day's storage unit threw up. And if I have to stare at these bright colors all night long, I might too. Ja, liebe Leute, so sieht das aus, wenn das Spiel hängen bleibt. Genau so. Ich weiß nicht, warum. Kein Plan. Aber ist mir jetzt auch egal. Ich darf jetzt meinen PC wieder neu starten und kotzen. Ich muss wahrscheinlich wieder alles wieder so herstellen, wie es war, weil sonst geht es ja nicht. Also, denke ich mal, keine Ahnung. Ich weiß nicht, was ich falsch gemacht habe. Das ist einfach nur lächerlich. Ich habe die Charaktere ein bisschen verändert und schon wieder alles kaputt. Ich kotze im Strahl. Ich habe echt keinen Bock mehr. Blöd, kann, blöd, dass ich mein Geld nicht mehr zurückkriege für diesen Dreck, aber das ist wirklich echt nicht geil.